On January 27, 2025, the FDA approved in HERTU, or FAM Trastuzumab Deruxtecan x key for unresectable or metastatic HR-positive HER2-low or HER2-ultra-low breast cancer. And HER2 targets HR-positive HER2-low or HER2-ultra-low metastatic breast cancer after endocrine therapy failure, confirmed by an FDA-approved test. The Ventana Pathway Anti-HER2 Assay, now approved for HER2-ultra-low detection, ensures accurate patient selection for an HER2. Destiny Breast 6 tested 166 patients. 436 got in HER2, 430 got chemotherapy. No prior chemo for advanced disease was allowed, as shown here. In HER2 improved PFS to 13.2 months versus 8.1 months for chemo in HER2 low patients, hazard ratio 0.62. And overall, as this charts show, in the HER2 ultra low group, PFS was 15.1 months within HER2 versus 8.3 months with chemo. And HER2's response rate was 65.7% versus 30.8% for chemo. OS data is still immature, as shown here. Common side effects include low blood counts, nausea, and fatigue grouped in this chart. Monitoring is key, and HER2's dose is 5.4 ml IV every three weeks until progression or toxicity. More details at Drugs FDA. First for HER2 Ultra Low and HER2 Boost options. OS data and diagnostics are next, per this timeline. Subscribe here and go to oncologytube.com for more on this and many other cancer research topics.